What's going on YouTube, Giosno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a great must have application if you're editing on the go or if you want to edit videos professionally and that is Filmora Go. Now, this application is pretty good if you're an aspiring vlogger or an aspiring video creator or even a video creator with a lot of experience because the application can do pretty serious video editing on your device. Now, the application itself is available here on the App Store. There is a free version available, but I would definitely recommend recommend you to get the Filmora Go for one year because it unlocks so many features you might as well think that the free version doesn't exist. The difference is huge and I like the way it's organized, I like the new colors it has. I did used to use the Filmora in the past right here on my device but they did change it in the recent updates especially with those new colors and stuff like that. When you want to edit on your device, being it videos or gameplay or you know vlogging and stuff like that, if you want to do them directly on your device there is not exactly a shortage of of options. There are multiple applications out there, some of them free, some of them paid. I have tested a lot of them in the past. Being a video creator myself with more than 100,000 subscribers, you probably imagine that I have tested a lot of applications for editing. Now Filmora Go, I wouldn't say is the best option. The best option would be to get Filmora if you want it on the computer. But if you really have to edit on the go, yes, it's a very good option on the go. Of course, it's harder to edit when you're on the go. It's a smaller screen, a smaller size device. You would be better off editing on a computer, that's completely true. But if you really need to edit on your device, Filmora does provide a lot of power. So let's look a little bit on the interface itself. I'm running the Pro, so we get access to everything this one has. Now you get templates. This is a great thing, because with templates you can easily do what you want. Say you want to create a little bit of a video with multiple photos and stuff like that, or you want to create like some sort of album or a summer vlog or whatever, travel vlog or music video or whatever, these are in here. You do have a lot of options here on the templates and you also do have music to basically put on those videos. So if you go ahead and hear on music, there are a lot of tracks that you can get and there is of course a favorite option if you really want it. You can search for them too or you can select the type, for example, if you want only for vlogs, if you want rock and roll or you want something warm or fitnessy or something sad, I don't know you get them in here they do have music to add to your videos they also have materials in here where you can get basically you know various sticker packs and you know various packs in general like this one in here which contains subscribe buttons and like buttons and animations message bubbles uh, which contains emojis and stuff it's pretty great then a lot of things from anime to cinema to games to whatever so you do get a lot of stickers or you know various call outs or lower thirds and stuff like that so it's it's actually great. Then you have filters, you can actually have filters if you want to, and then transitions. If you want various transitions from a photo to another or from a video to another, you do have a couple of them in here. So you do have materials available. Then you have an option to get the project from camera directly. If you want to film it right now, you can film it directly from here or you can press new project and select something you already have. And I do. I have these two videos in here which contain footage from a device. Uh, it's basically a tutorial and footage from a computer. But these these are not very well edited. I would need to edit them. So I'm going to import them in here. It creates a new project pretty quickly. I can say it takes too much time. And this is, by the way, an iPhone 7 Plus. While this is not the oldest device possible, it's still not something new. It's still not something very, very powerful by today's standards. And I have no problem scrubbing through the timeline in here. It goes fast. It goes okay. So the application is well made. Here you have a button to select the resolution. And I would definitely advise you to not create anything lower than 30 frames per second 720p because by today's standard people consider even that to be low resolution so I would go with at least 1080p and at least 60 frames per second if possible. The application is more than happy to comply and it even supports 4k at 60 frames per second and yes it may take more time to render your timeline with the settings but it's better for the viewer. So I'm gonna leave that in there. Here as I said you can scrub through your timeline you can even add videos or photos if if you want to and of course you can select between video photo or other here you have the music if you need to add music you can press music in here it's going to show the music you can even extract music from a video or add music from iTunes which is something I really
really really like. And then of course you have effects, which are basically various sound effects like level up or success or new message or clock or somebody laughing or somebody nervous or whatever. So if you're making a memes video or something, that would be pretty good. Then you have the record. If you want to do a voiceover in here, you can do so. And it does help a lot because you can basically do a voiceover by holding the button in there. And that's basically it. I have done now a voiceover, which can be seen in there. It's as simple as that. If you no longer need it, you can press delete in there. You can select the fade in, fade out, volume and so on, or you can just decide to delete it altogether. So it's pretty easy to actually handle the timeline. That's something I like about it. And that's a problem that I usually have even with computer applications for editing. But Filmora is pretty simple to use. And that's something I do appreciate. Then in here, if you want to add a filter, you select the filter from there, but it's not a case in here, it's a tutorial. But then you have those stickers that I was talking about. You press add. And here is the pack that I was talking about with the subscribe button and so on. You see, we have the subscribing here. We press on it. And as you can see, it shows in there. It's pretty nice. You can move it, of course. So I'm going to move it a little bit down in here where you can see it. And I'm going to try to center it a little bit like that. And as you can see now, we have it. We can select when we want it to start. And then, of course, when you go in here, it shows the proper subscribe button with all the animation and stuff like that, the bell and everything. So that's actually quite great. I do use something similar on my video. It's a different pack, but you can see that it works pretty fine and it does make the video a little bit more interesting. There are multiple others in here like follow me or, you know, follow count or live or check in. Or there is, for example, this one with the bell icon, which somebody presses. That's again a nice one. Then, of course, you have multiple other packs like the summer day in here where you can add various stickers and so on. Now, it depends a lot on what video you're making and what it is about, but there are stickers for right about everything in here. So that's pretty nice. So you can see many of them are actually even animated. So that's again, pretty nice. Now, of course, you can save it and work on it later. If you cannot finish it right now, you can rename it. You can give it a name in here. For example, I'm going to say today's video like this, and I'm going to save the project. And we can, of course, go back to it and continue it later with all the timeline and stuff like that. It saves automatically. Then you have picture in picture if you need it. And of course, multiple other things. There are multiple ways to edit videos. You can add music, you can add text. If I want to say, for example, hello, you can see we go back in here and we can select various fonts. I'm going to select this one here because I like the way it looks. And then of course, you can choose the color and various other things. So it's a well-made application. You can make this bigger like this. You can rotate it. It's actually a good video editor for on the go. I'm going to select the opacity in here. And then you have various transitions. How do you want it to appear? If you want it to scroll, if you want it to fall down, if you want it to like just glow and so on. So multiple ways to present the text and it can spin and stuff like that. So once you're done with the timeline, once you have everything the way you would want them, you press here on export and it says, please don't close Filmora Go. Now, depending on how long the video is and depending on how much there is in there, how much editing going on, how many cuts, how many stickers, how many songs, it may take more time. And of course, depending on the resolution, the bigger, the more time it will take. But as you can see, it's not going too slow and I will be able to just upload this video straight to YouTube after Filmora is done with it. All right. So as you can see, it's almost done and that's it. It says, would you recommend it to your friends? Well, definitely. It says in here, save to your album. And from this point, you can just open the YouTube application from here and you will be able to share it on YouTube. You can share it on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, WhatsApp, or you can press more and you will see multiple other options in here like Messenger or copying to Falza if you're jailbroken, sending via mail, via airdrop, or adding to a shared album, or even saving the video locally again. So that's it. It's pretty simple to do and it's definitely great. So yeah, overall, I do think that this application is indeed worth it. It does have pretty good reviews in here, over 47,000 people and an overall review of 4.6 out of 5 stars. So pretty good. And it's a good application. So definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.